Anyone who knows me well knows that I'm terrible at telling stories, so bear with me if I'm kind of all over the place and I'm rambling a little bit, or if this video is just edited really choppily. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to do a quick life update to let you guys know where I've been for the past like two years or so. So basically you guys know that I really struggled with antenatal depression. I spoke about it a lot in my bump dates. And basically postpartum depression really kicked me to the curb. I have struggled a lot with my mental illnesses as of late. I've really struggled with it my whole life. But lately it's really been putting a toll on me. The past year I've spent recuperating and trying to get better and just focusing on myself and my mental health. And I really feel like for the first time in a long time, I'm starting to feel like myself again. And I'm starting to get my ducks back in a row and accomplish what I want to accomplish. But before that, I was really just a shell of a person. Um, anyone who's gone through deep depression or anxiety, I think could relate. Um, I also had PTSD as one of my diagnoses. And um, I struggled with that for a long time. And um, I had about six or seven months where I was in a rehabilitation facility for my mental health and my postpartum depression because it had gotten to such an extreme where I couldn't do things for myself anymore. And just thing, even eating or getting up out of bed was just such a chore for me that a lot of other things in my life just slipped. And... I wasn't putting the proper effort or focus that I needed to into them just because I, I really couldn't because the depression was so real and so enormous and such a burden on me. Since then, Jace has been growing beautifully. I want to share more videos and I regret not doing more in this time that has elapsed, but I understand that I really needed to put myself first in order to get well and be a better mother for him and be a better person for everyone in my life that depends on me and values me in their life. The start of my depression, I would say, began originally when I was pregnant. And I spoke a little bit about that so I'm not going to get too much into it into this video. But just being young and pregnant and having all that stigma and all those expectations placed on you was really overwhelming and such a burden to bear. Among other things, I wasn't with my partner for half of my pregnancy. That took another toll on me. And after Jace was born, I realized how difficult parenthood is and it was way more difficult than I ever expected it to be and I just wasn't prepared for it as much as I tried to be and um, I learned a lot of difficult lessons and you know lots of things in my life started to slip like I said I lost my job um, I got into legal issues I've lost close family relationships and it's just been a real challenge for me to navigate with so many losses. I've had lots of interpersonal struggles with people that I'm really close with in my life. Lots of arguments, lots of disagreements, not seeing eye to eye. It's really taken a toll on me. I've suffered with a lot of panic attacks and I've suffered with things haunting me. And just everything in my life that I never dealt with just all came to the surface at the same time. And it really cracked me down to my absolute core. To share some other life updates, um, we've currently moved from our last um, apartment this is going to be a more permanent apartment. We're hoping to live here for, you know, for the foreseeable future. Have Jace grow up here. We're very close to family here. 
and Jace is thriving. He's doing exceptionally well. Um, he's a very smart and kind and sweet little boy, and I can't wait to show you more videos of him so you can get to know him a little bit better. And right now, our apartment is under construction. We've got to pick a lot of things that we like and we've got to, you know, help make decisions in the layout and help pick, you know, cabinets and flooring and wall colors and things like that. But we're still waiting on the construction because of COVID. It's kind of put a damper on things. So currently, um, we're making do with staying with family, but it's taking a toll. And in my personal life, I'm still in school. I was officially accepted into a nursing program, so I'm gonna be starting clinicals very soon, and I have that to focus on. I have a new job on the horizon, working for the census, and I'm very excited about that. So I'm about to dive back in to juggling a lot of things in my life again, and that was one of the things I think that was ultimately my downfall, was taking on too many ambitions at once. But now that I've learned my lesson, I know how to manage my expectations and manage my time a little bit better. And I have more help now, I think, with Jace. And Another thing I wanted to address was uh, my weight gain. In the past two years or so, I've really used food as a crutch and food has been my coping mechanism. And I'm not proud of it by any means, but it's just the reality and I'm working to try and fix my addictions and my bad habits, but it's one step at a time, and I'm just going to try the best that I can. I would say things right now are ultimately improving in my life, and I feel the motivation to do a lot more that I haven't felt in a long time. Um, but I've really just been through so much sorrow and so much loss within the past two years or so that it really affected me and changed me a lot as an individual. So I think that's everything that I wanted to say. If you guys have any other further questions, leave them down in the comments down below and I'll answer you guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to get more from my channel. I really am going to dedicate myself to posting more. Um, now that I'm feeling better and thank you guys for hearing me out and watching this video. Bye.